Hey guys, today we're going to be replacing the battery on this tennis cube. We'll start by removing these screws that hold down the bottom plate. There's three, number four, number five, and number six. So now this bottom plate should come off like so, and the battery is attached to the bottom plate. So if possible, I would recommend that you do not touch the oscillator and its piece. You'll see that there's two screws holding down the battery. If you can get to these without having to touch the bottom, that will help a lot, especially given the oscillator is a bit tough to put back together. If you want to separate the bottom cover, you can unplug the motor connector to the oscillator. And for those of us who do remove the oscillator, now we can access these two bottom screws, one here and one here. And after removing that, that should release the battery plate, which gives us better access to the battery. First, we remove this black cable and then this red cable. Then we can remove this metal plate. After which, pretending to put this new battery on, this is not a new battery, by the way, just put the metal plate back on, put the red wire back on, then put the black wire on as well. Then we can mount this whole battery onto the bottom plate and then screw it back on and put it all back together. So the reason why I said pretending to put the battery back on is because I want to put a 12 volt 15 amp hour battery in here but it just doesn't fit. So this is it next to the older battery. I have decided I'm just going to take these wires and shoot them out the side here and then wire this externally. Yeah, so this part is all optional, by the way. You don't have to wire it externally. First thing I'm going to do is cut off these ends here, just so I can get the wires to fit through a smaller hole first. And then drill a hole through the side. I believe this is a 964 bit. Now I can fish these two wires through the side here. Next, I'm stripping the wires just a little bit, so I can fit the F2 connectors onto them. Black one is done, and here's the other one. Just slide this back on. And crimp it two times, one at this end, one a bit closer there. And then just finalize the crimp using the very end of this wire stripper. So now I can just carry the machine everywhere, put the battery in my tennis bag, and when it's time to play, I just connect red to red, black to black, and just start playing again. Now we can put this bottom cover back in place, put the six screws back in place, and of course if you have the oscillator, just make sure that screw is in there and tightened, and the assembly is back in place there too. I will be covering the oscillator in a different video, just because I had to reorder the part for it since it went missing. That's it, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.